What's up, Musquavians? Today we are talking about the potential of Jamal Adams ending up in Seattle, how we can make it happen for the Seahawks to trade for Jamal Adams and bring him in for this year in the NFL. Leave in the comment section below how you think Seattle could trade for Jamal Adams and where you have him ending up. I'm doing a separate video about the best destination for Jamal Adams because unfortunately I do not believe it is Seattle. That video will be coming out shortly, but for today we're talking about how Jamal Adams could end up in Seattle. So Jamal Adams listed seven teams that he would be willing to be traded to. Six of those made the playoffs last year. The only team that didn't was the Cowboys. The other teams, the Eagles, the Niners, the Texans, Seattle, Kansas City, and Baltimore all made the playoffs and were competitive teams. What does that tell me? It tells me that Jamal Adams wants to go to a winning organization. But unfortunately, I've also read a lot of reports that Jamal Adams wants upwards of $20 million per year. There are only five guys in the NFL who are making more than $20 million per year on the defensive side of the football. That's Khalil Mack, Aaron. Aaron Donald, Frank Clark, DeForest Buckner, and Demarcus Lawrence. Jamal Adams was first team all pro, but he has as many picks in his career as Bradley McDougald had last season, and that's who he would be coming in to replace. The Jets are asking for a first and a third, at least when talking about trading Jamal Adams, but Adam Gase wasn't the one who drafted Jamal Adams, and I could see us potentially pulling him away. What it would take for Seattle to trade, and what I do like about Seattle, John Schneider and Pete Carroll don't like to bend to much to make a deal. If the deal's not right, they're not going to do it. They let Earl walk. They let Sherman walk. We haven't pulled the trigger on a lot of trades to have the potential to happen because we want to make sure that the deal fits what Seattle needs. And I think the most Seattle would trade for Jamal Adams based on his stat output, I understand he was first team all pro, but Bradley McDougald had more picks than him last year. He had one less passes defense. The only thing that has Jamal Adams value so high is the sacks. I think Jamal Adams is an in the box safety. He would replace Cam Chancellor, but he wouldn't be quite the enforcer. He'd be great in run support, and what he would bring to Seattle is potentially the best tackling defense in the NFL when you talk about having Bobby Wagner, Jordan Brooks, and Jamal Adams in the same backfield. Players aren't going to break tackles against them big plays aren't going to get broken because these guys are so secure tacklers and that's what he would add to Seattle and for that you can't pay more than 13 million per year. The highest safeties in the NFL this year, Eddie Jackson and Kevin Byard are making upwards of 14 million. Eddie Jackson's making 14.6. Kevin Byard had five picks last year. Jamal Adams had one. I'm not paying Jamal Adams more money than that when he's strictly going to be in the box and a tackle assistant. He's not going to have as many sacks in Seattle because we don't blitz our safeties as much as they do in New York. I do think his tackles would stay about the same if not go up for Seattle, but are we willing to pay $20 million for a bunch of tackles? I don't think so. We're a ball hawking defense. We like to get the football back. And so if Jamal Adams were to come to Seattle, he'd have to agree to go $13 million per year. I say we give him a two-year deal, extend it on what he already has because he's already under contract for next year as well as the following. So we add two years to that, put $13 million per year, guarantee him about $15 million, total of about $20 six million added on to his contract and we let him play for the winner that he's telling us he wants to be a part of by the teams that he said he wants to go to if you want to play for a winner sometimes you're gonna to have to sacrifice a bit of your own money and that's just how it works he's been stuck in new york it's a big city the biggest city in the united states and he still wants out why because he wants to play for a winner your actions have to align with your values what i say seattle trades for jamal adams the most we would give up is a second round pick and bradley mcdougald like i said mcdougald had more picks last year than than Jamal Adams. In fact, he doubled Jamal Adams' picks last year. He had one less pass defense than Adams. He played one more game, and he only had six fewer tackles. So I say we trade Bradley McDougald and a second round pick for Jamal Adams, and only if he's willing to sign a deal for $13 million per year, two year extension on top of the two years that he still has left to play. And I think that's the only way that Seattle could potentially bring in Jamal Adams. I would love to see Jamal Adams in Seattle, but only if the price is right and only if we don't give up too much to get him back. He was the sixth overall pick in 2017 out of LSU. I'm a big LSU guy. I'd love to see Jamal Adams in Seattle, but he's asking for a lot of money and his production on the field doesn't necessarily add up to the asking price. Because of that, I don't think Seattle's Jamal Adams number one destination. I think we're a little bit lower on the list, but I'm dropping another video shortly talking about the best fit for Jamal Adams. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Let me know in the comment section below where you think Jamal Adams ends up and what do you think about his potential in Seattle? What would you be willing to trade and give up for Jamal Adams? As always, go Hawks.